Hello and welcome to another update video about gold. We want to take a look at the updated yeah, gold chart to see if we get another high or not. Um, the price recently, it might have, it might have indeed bottomed in this B wave, right? On the 26th of June. And we might be working on our wave one to the upside of a larger C wave as discussed in the previous videos. For now, it is really just important. Do we get a fifth wave or, you know, what are the parameters that we need to be watching for that? Let's talk about that. Um, for now, we've seen from this B wave low an initial impulse. OK, this B wave low end of June, we had a first impulse into the 28th of June high corrective pullback into the support region and a nice one, two, one, two setup. Now in the last video, I highlighted to you that we, this was probably, well, it was a third wave. Either it was really a third wave or just a C wave after an ABC rally. So those are the two potentials, right? So we can easily say, um, this is an A, B, C structure and we're breaking down possible in this scenario. And I make it, let me just tidy that up here. So, cause my idea is that either we've, um, so either we've already bottomed in this, in this fourth wave here, yeah. Or we are in a larger B wave correction. And if the fourth wave already bottomed in May, then this here is an A, B, C structure. And we're watching for five waves up. Um, I need, however, to really strongly lean towards that. I have some confirmation for that, that not only the fourth wave bottomed in early in May, but also that B wave of wave five bottomed in uh, end of June. I need to get one more high. I need to get those five waves. A five wave move up indicates that a more substantial low is in place, and then we should get a higher low afterwards. So we have seen some you know, good upside. Um, and now we just need to pay particular attention to what happens here. Now I will take the support area out, which we don't need anymore, but I want to share with you what would likely happen or what would need to happen to, let's say, get a more bearish outlook. Well, I need to see a break below the last low here, the July low at 2,356, because it is possible that what we are forming here is just simply an A, B, C structure in a larger B. But, so, you could even say the A is here, probably clearer. Then we have, because if we have only three waves up, it might take us down, okay? That's the tricky situation. Um, however, I have to say clearly, even if we move down in wave C in yellow, this is still a bullish scenario for me, all right? But at the moment, in the very short term, what really matters is if we get a five wave move up. For now, it's only three waves up. The market here reacted um, indeed after my last video to that target area or resistance area. Remember that I said, okay, we've reached actually already what the third wave needs to do. I give you a support area for that fourth wave. We'll see if we if we react to it. If we get a sustained break below the 50% FIB level, yeah, then we have to consider that scenario broken and possibly a B wave top in place here, which would be short term bearish, not overall bearish. But we haven't had a sustained break of support and we haven't even had a cut into the wave one price region. So it's still valid technically as an impulse, even though it's a very deep wave four. And I don't, let's say, I don't fully trust it. Um, what we really need to see to confirm that wave one of the next move up is unfolding is one more high. So ideally targeting 2413 or 2423. But if we get a break below the Tuesday low at 2356, I have to assume that here some kind of a some kind of a three wave top has formed, um, at least based on what I can see right now. And then we would start already the move down like a one, two, you know, start to move down like that. Um, that's how I see it at the moment. Yeah, that's that should give you all the parameters to watch, which means that in the very, very short term, if you're watching for higher, I mean, the only the only invalidation point um, for the for the white count now is basically that last swing low. At uh, yeah, 2356 against that level, the focus could be on higher 
came down a little bit too deep to be reliable for a fourth wave. So definitely, definitely considering that we might have topped in that B wave here, but it's it's trying. It's certainly trying. We haven't had a sustained break for of support. So you know, on thin ice, but we might get that fifth wave. And if we get it, then this is clarity. And then we can add the next support zone for wave two for a higher low. That's my update about gold. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.